Okay, so we've added all our consortium members. Um, now we actually have to create the channel. So let's go into channels. Um, we'll create a channel called my channel. Um, we'll select the order. Um, and then now uh, we'll say that the insurance MSP is the um, is a channel member, but we'll make sure everyone is a channel member. So the police, uh, repair shop, and the shop MSP, and we'll make them all operators. Um, and also the channel update policy, I'll make it really simple, one out of four. This is probably not safe, but um, yeah, you probably want at least three out of four, but for now I'll just keep it simple, one out of four. Um, and the channel creator MSP, that'll be the insurance MSP, and I'll make it the insurance admin, and that's more or less it. Um, now we're going to actually have to join the channel. So we'll click on join channel and we'll click on order and then we'll um, type in my channel. And we'll add all of our peers to the channel. And the last thing we have to do with our channel is to add um, anchor peers. So this is um, so that we can actually communicate uh, across organizations. So we'll do that and we'll add everyone here. Cool. Um, now let's do some some work in our code editor. First thing we want to do is actually clone the repo. Um, so I'll create a new directory here. Uh, make directory YouTube test. Um, and now we'll go into our um, our IBM build blockchain insurance app, and we'll actually just go ahead and clone it. Okay, so we'll go into the Build Blockchain Insurance app, and if you uh, open, if we open that up in my code editor, um, you'll see where's our YouTube test, and in here uh, we have our chain code package. So the first thing we want to do is actually install this chain code. So we'll go into our uh, smart contracts, and we'll click on Install Smart Contract, and we'll add file from exactly this YouTube test directory that we just uh, cloned, and we'll copy in this insurance 1.0.6. Um, and then we'll click Next, and we'll select all the peers. Um, so now we're, we've just successfully installed the smart contract on the peers, and now we can instantiate it, um, and we can select the channel, which is my channel, and one out of, this is where we select our endorsement policy. This is really important. I'll make it really simple, one out of four. Um, and then we'll do init. This is our initialization function. Um, and now we're instantiated. Okay, so now we've successfully instantiated it. And we can see under instantiated smart contracts, we got insurance. We can see my channel. So now that we've um, instantiated the smart contract, we're going to have to connect with it with an SDK. Um, so we can uh, collect the. In insurance MSP and the insurance CA for connection and we can download the connection profile that'll go straight into our downloads folder um, now what we got to do is we have to open our Visual Studio Code and in our uh, web www blockchain directory we actually want to copy this downloaded connection profile that we just got so for my downloads I'm gonna find um, today at 456 yeah that's this is the one so I'm gonna take this um, file copy and paste it and overwrite this um, IBP connection .json. and what I just did is it took my channel information and all the endpoints for my Kubernetes pods that I've actually deployed, such as the peers, the certificate authorities, and it's putting them in this JSON so that my client application can uh, know where to send the transactions from and which peer to send the transactions to. Um, and that's more or less it. Um, after that, now we have to create a couple client and application admins, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to the nodes, and one more time, we're gonna have to work with the cert certificate authority and I'll just do the insurance one first and then I'll speed it up. So now what we'll do is we'll create an insurance app admin. Um, so we'll say insurance admin and then we'll just copy and paste that and add a PW like we always do. Um, client, that's fine. And then this is the important part. Um, we actually have to get this um, attribute name um, and you can find this directly on the github steps but it's exactly spelled like this and then a star here and then we can click register user okay um, so now I'll do the same thing but for the other CAs so I'll speed this up
Okay, so now that we've created all these um, app admins, then we can go back into our um, IBP connection. And we first want to take this certificate authority URL from the insurance MSP. So we'll just take this URL and we'll go into config.json and we'll change this um, URL. We want to keep that HTTP there, um, but we want to change that URL. And now that we've already created this app admin, insurance app admin, insurance app admin PW, um, we'll use this uh, enroll admin script here um, to actually uh, enroll and then a created identity and import it into our wallet that we should have here. So we'll go into www, uh, web www blockchain and we'll just run node enroll admin now. Okay, so we see that we've um, successfully imported that user. Um, so that looks good. And if we click on our wallet, we should see the pri uh, public key and the private key and some more info. And let's go ahead and now we want to do the same thing, but for our shop app admin. Um, so we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. And now we just want to change the CA name. And to find the CA name now, um, we can go into our shop CA and click on this cog. And then we'll find the URL. Um, and then now we can just run a node enroll admin again. And you'll see the shop app admin now. Um, and then next, we'll want to do the repair shop admin. And all of this is in the GitHub, all of these, uh, this JSON, so you can just copy and paste it really quick. So now we'll go into repair shop app admin. Um, and we'll go to the repair shop CA um, to get that URL. So we want to connect to this URL um, when we enroll this. Nice, so we have a shop app admin. And lastly, we need a police admin. Um, so lastly, we have to find this uh, police uh, CA URL. And we can get that straight from our node in our um, uh, settings, settings cog here. Um, so we have the full URL that we can change now. Um, so we can see change this, and now we roll and enroll. Okay, um, so that's more or less it. Um, now what we can do is we can go into the app and we're ready to run the app now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll clean out my Docker containers. Um, we'll do a Docker login. Now that I'm logged in, I can do a build Mac. <clears throat> okay, so now that we see that we successfully instantiated the chain code on all peers, um, we can go ahead and go to uh, localhost 3000, which is where the app is running. And now we can go into the shop and we can go for some skis. Okay, so now that we have the skis here, we can put in our names. So we set the stock contract and then we'll submit our order. So now that we've created our order, we can go back and log in. Then we can file a new claim and say skis stolen. You can see the logs here too. Um, and then if we get something stolen, then the police will have to um, confirm or deny it. Um, and we'll just go ahead and say, um, so yeah, we can go ahead and reject that. And then we'll see all of the, um, and now if we want to check all of these uh, transactions, we can go into our channel and we should see all of these transactions in the last uh, few minutes. Um, so again, and this should be the uh, filing the claim, um, and we can say something like uh, yes, um, the the uh, is theft is true, and then the last thing was the uh, rejection by the police. So we can check that too, and that'll be like a, a theft claim, I believe, should be the last transaction on here, theft claim process. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, give me a comment if you liked it. Um, and of course, subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so now that I showed you how to uh, submit transactions through the UI, I'm just going to recap everything that we've learned. Um, so essentially what, what we've done is we've created this IBM Cloud account and we've created this uh, Kubernetes cluster. Um, and we can go ahead and see that if we just click on Kubernetes clusters in our dashboard. Um, so we created this uh, this cluster right here, and then we also launched um, the IBM blockchain platform um, 
that service onto that cluster. So that's the blockchain YouTube demo that we just created. Once we've created and deployed that cluster, we get to our blockchain free beta homepage. And then this is where we actually created all those certificate authorities and we created this admin. Um, and then also we created the insurance admin insurance peer. After that, um, uh, we used we created the MSP definitions, if you remember. So we basically created all these definitions such that we can um, add new peers. After we created the MSP definitions, we did create the peers themselves. So we just clicked on add peer and then we used those um, enroll IDs such as insurance peer and insurance peer PW to actually create our peers um, according to uh, so that they're still linked to our certificate authority. After that, um, we created the orderer. Um, so we did create a, a orderer CA, we created an orderer peer and an orderer admin just like before, and then we created an order MSP definition, and then finally we created the ordering service. After which um, we clicked on the order service and added, added consortium members. So that's the the we added all of our organizations into our consortium so that they can transact with each other, and then um, then we created the channel. Um, so then we created this uh, my channel. And then, um, if you remember, we added all of the organizations as operators, and then we uh, joined all of our peers to the channel. And the last thing we did, which is really important, um, especially if you have a big organization, is we added anchor peers. So these this allows us to um, uh, to talk between uh, organizations. Um, so after that, uh, we we got our smart contract, which was um, part of the uh, code here. So if you click on chain code package, this is where we have this insurance 1.0.6 um, uh, package. So we just used this insurance 1.0.6. We clicked on install smart contract and we pack, uh, installed it and in instantiated it. And then um, after that, we essentially connected with the SDK. So we um, selected the insurance MSP and the insurance CA and then we uh, opened the connection profile and downloaded it. And then we added that into our client app um, right into here. So we, um, we, we use this and then essentially just added it, copied and pasted it into our IBP connection.json. And then um, we went back into our platform and we created some app admin identities so that each, um, so that we can have a wall, uh, identity in our wallet for each of our uh, peers. And the way that we did that is that we went to the CA and then we uh, created this insurance app admin. Um, after the, we did that, um, we went into our config.json and we had all of these app admins and um, we we made sure that we're connected to the CA by clicking this uh, settings icon and copying this um, CA URL here and then running this um, enroll admin script, which we have here. Um, and this script is essentially going to uh, import into our wallet these identities and then um, when essentially when we call invoke, we are passing in this uh, peer identity um, from our actual um, peers. So in our insurance peer, um, we're passing in this uh, insurance app admin and we're passing that in to our uh, invoke.cc. And um, the last, uh, essentially the last step is just to run all these enroll admin scripts and then run the um, run the, uh, the clean and then the build Mac and then um, essentially we're just uh, running, we're just uh, shopping within our app, and then all of these uh, transactions are now logged onto the IBM blockchain platform in our channel. Um, so yeah, those are those are the main steps that we did. So a lot of working with the certificate authority, um, adding the anchor peers. So um, a lot of different steps here, but um, now we have a fully functional multi-organization um, um, blockchain setup. So hopefully you found that interesting. Um, if there's any problems you're running into, please go ahead and comment. And of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you again soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.